Hey, it's Sunday, and the question is, was Black Friday a couple of days ago, or is Black Friday the Friday after Thanksgiving? So why is everybody this week having Christmas parades and lighting Christmas trees? I've talked about this before in a couple of my blogs. You know, you have the traditional Christmas tree that's delivered in Washington, D.C., and it gets lit up with lights. Well, thanks to Penguin6, which I may just post his link, because he does a daily drive around a walk, <laughs> scan his phone and get a little motorbike. And he does that pretty much every day. I always like to stop in and see where he's eating and what he's eating. <laughs> I don't know how he lives. Don't they have any leafy green salads <laughs> in Washington, D.C.? Well, anyway, it is... And the phone kicked off. It's probably the 21st, 22nd, I think. Thursday is Thanksgiving 2021. And if I can find it, if I have time, I am so busy these days. <laughs> uh, about these charged, um, about prices. You know, I've never really been a traditionalist <laughs> when it comes to eating holiday food. As soon as I grew up and went away to college and left home, I always ate my dessert first. <laughs> Just in case, I might still be hungry at the end of the meal. <laughs> no, nah, not really. But the only thing I am really interested in for Thanksgiving is... <laughs> Pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie, and it loves me. <laughs> I remember from sometime around the end of November to about the middle of uh, January, you need to have a whole new set of clothes or at least some stretch pants. <laughs> this year, 2022, may be a little different. Yes, I'm not all gloom and doom, but... Do you mind? I feel like somebody's calling me. But I uh, remember the good old days. Reminds me of my dad, Bob Jones. The original. He used to just take the receiver. You remember when they had those? Hello? You had to carry the phone around and they stuck it on the wall with a 20 foot extension. Yeah, I'm cooking dinner, but that's okay. Let Well, I'm going to tell you a little story. And it's not about a man named Jed. You'll have to figure that one out <laughs> if you ever watch any of the videos. I wouldn't watch them now. I'd wait till I'm on the other side. <laughs> but, um... This thing in British Columbia... Thanks to Cindy and Roberta and a number of people. There for a short period of time, I did some auctions with them and made some friends. And they're matchmakers, and <laughs> they were hoping I'd find a wife. Because <laughs> I'd already, I had already been perfectly trained. <laughs> that was funny. I don't know, sometime in the next two or three months, I may do another one, but it's going to be based on guy stuff, which probably won't float very well on their channel. But like, 
Hasn't happened in the last 20 years. <laughs> I know. For 70 years old. I ought to be selling some uh, health potent. <laughs> Potion. And you could call me and enter this promo code and I'd give you 51% off. Of what it cost me? Oh, no. They cannot. That's why they call it a trial. Would you like to have a trial offer? Just enter in your name, your birth date, your social security number, your credit card, and you too can get a free one month supply. Returnable up to the next year or two. <laughs> While we uh, decipher your information. Okay, that's not what this is about. We're into six minutes. And I am going to slowly pump up some videos that show I'm still on something like guy stuff. <laughs> How many of you know that I am a martial artist? How many know that I have many rankings in many styles and I even created my own. What do you do when you first create your own style? It's like writing a book. I am the new red belt. I am the first and original owner. Oh, there's a whole big story about why you start with a white belt and the more you use it, it changes colors, which I guess that was before they had uh, soap and washing machines. But anyway, I am a cane master in one degree. I still have the pins somewhere, and I still have the red belt. <laughs> and I always did give him credit. When credit was due. <laughs> that means when you loan somebody some money, on your end, it's an investment. On their end, it is a liability. If you call the loan... They have to return as much of the original investment as they possibly can. Which will explain to me and to you and everybody who wants to try my, don't have an empty bottle, but my snake oil medicine. Years and years ago, I realized that When I get old, I'll be like I was when I was young. Which means there'll be some days when you're down on your back and you don't feel very good. And you just don't want one of those Medicare aluminum canes. <laughs> See, there is a commercial here, but... Native Missouri grown steam bent walking canes and for you that don't know after the last Civil War <laughs> sure hope, sure hope we don't have another one and that's not the point of the video I don't do a thumbs down and report me because I have a reason to the story. I went to Mammoth Caves about 25 years ago. I was in southern Missouri. and I never would have found it if I hadn't gone to school in Springfield. And so I started hee-hawing around once I found the place and saw a bunch of sawdust and Slowly but surely, <laughs> I was 
brought into the inner court <laughs> to either be hung or be offered a deal. So, like I said, I'll release more of this information soon. But here's the point of the deal. No man is an island unto himself. And so right now I have these three walking canes that I keep close at hand because they rewarded me <laughs> in a kind of haphazard way in that, I'm sorry, I got on the wrong plane. Uh, I got to go. By the way, I was going to do a whole thing about this, and he just hands me a bag of walking canes and an invite to the guy at Mammoth Springs. Would have been a pretty good seminar, except he smacked me up the side of the head because he wanted to know if it worked, and I'd give him a straight answer. I did. You know what I said? Like old Sling Blade said. You ever do that again, I'm going to do it to you. <laughs> well, that's not exactly right, but I'm not exactly a good zillionaire. You just go out and have wine and uh, fun <laughs> with Jolie. All right. Here we go. I don't know what an order they're in, but up oh, you can hear them. They're wood. They're hickory. They're oak. They are all four foot. I mean, I killed one. But I think that's what helped sell the farm. Oh, this is hickory. I'll tell you why it's my favorite in a second. And uh, it was made out of uh, oak. Hope I don't knock down my sound stage or hit my guitar. They might start talking to me again. So anyway, back in the day when I used to teach, <laughs> I guess they used to feel sorry for me 30 years ago. They wanted to know what I had to say for adult evening division classes. Of course, I've been taking them every winter. And... But look at this puppy. I mean, the cane was made 25 years ago. Oh, and you may wonder why some of these uh, ruins. <laughs> Unexplained. Unexplained. Defenses. Tool. It's a garden tool. Because me and my dad, we used to go out in the garden. I know I gotta get my camera fixed. We'd poke holes up to the tape line. And then we turn around, we walk back the other way. And uh, we drop a seed or clove of garlic or onion or potato. So this is an agricultural tool. Yes, I used it a time or two whenever my back goes out. But that's not the beginning of this story. We're still back in Mammoth Caves, Arkansas, Missouri. Oops, sorry about that. And uh, so they produced some for me. I'd be... 
I bought, I had a little, hope the lights don't go out. Um, so I had a lot of blanks. Because I was investing. You probably don't realize this, especially if you're watching my channel, but uh, you can buy one for the price of one. You can buy five for the price of four. You can buy 10 for the price of eight. Or you can buy 200 for $100. I know, think on that one, won't you, girl? Guy? Gal? Pal? All right, so what was phase two? I had to get my certification. So I was an instructor. It was a college, even though it was only an evening division. So there's a cane master. And there is the International Combat Hapkido Federation. A lot of martial arts background here, guys. <clears throat> and I have a lot of videos. Look at that. Look at those runs. What do those mean? See, it fits pretty nice. It. Oh, now we're talking. If you're still here, now we're talking about where the shepherd's rod came from. Yeah. And so those led to this. <clears throat> Hickory, the best wood in the world. Especially if you're dying <laughs> and you want to have some really good taste in. Uh... All right, here we go. Oh, and by the way, for those who don't know, I am Robert Wayne. Let's see if you can read this. No, the light is off. Let's see. For those of you who want to take a short snapshot, there it is. That's Kane Masters. I did not do because times changed. Uh, the video for the keto thing. Hapkido is just basically a Japanese walking cane stuff. But we have the cane master on it. And I do quote, Custom made for Wayne Jones. Thanks for hosting a great seminar. Master Mark Shui Sr. <laughs> I'm not going to redo this video after getting through all this and suddenly have a dry air. If you know anybody in British Columbia, guess what? It happens pretty quick. And if anybody wants uh, those, can't sell those. <laughs> guess I can when I'm 
at my estate auction. But uh, I have some really good blanks. I have no idea what the shipping is. I know what the cost was to go get them, hang them up, dry them out. Uh, they've been steam bent for probably 30 years. Uh, they've been curing in my basement. And no, this is where Mark got in trouble. He tried to get involved with uh, Medicaid. And uh, the aluminum industry <laughs> and all the little, you know, you got the four pods and you can uh, shrink it up and put it in your wheelchair. Uh, so I think he lost out on that deal. I'm not sure. However, If you know any guys out there, I'm selling my guys stuff. I may sell this one last. You know, this is rosewood. You cannot import it into the United States anymore. Oh, and I think this is Coca-Cola. Oh, and this is Damascus. Oh, and this is less than four inches. Legal carry. As long as you're not angry, upset. I won't go on. Just keep it concealed. I just use it as a letter opener. But I have like 20 or 30 of these that I've collected. And I did buy them at an auction. I do have the receipts. And I will sell any of them. Without the sheath. <laughs> for $100 each. Even that one. Because nobody does leather work anymore. Oh, 22 minutes. I guess this will upload tomorrow. Thank you. Words of wisdom. Clean the house every once in a while. You just don't know when you'll find the next stone you're going to put into a ring.